Thanks for tuning in. I'm McKenna King with a look at the top news headlines for Sunday, July 29th. The Grassy Ridge fire near St. Anthony has burned 100,000 acres and is still only 20% contained. The BLM says the fire grew overnight and is expected to pick up today. The fire is described as active and growing. Officials say the fire was caused by lightning after a storm Friday afternoon near Red Road, which remains closed, as well as the A2 road in connection with Red Road. Evacuations have been lifted in Dubois. There will be a public meeting tonight at 8.30 at Lindy Ross Elementary School to discuss the firefighting strategy and to answer any questions. The Mesa fire burning near Highway 95 grew overnight to nearly 26,000 acres. Some good news to report. Officials say evacuations have been lifted in all areas except north of Grays Creek Road, where there is a level 2 evacuation in place. The fire is still only 5% contained, and officials say the fire is likely human-caused. With fire season currently underway, rangers at Lucky Peak State Park took the opportunity to teach some very important skills. Outside of the Sandy Shores Marina, rangers led a hands-on program designed to teach people about properly building campfires, how to craft a fire starter from pine cones, and most importantly, fire safety. The park rangers host a junior ranger program throughout Idaho at various state park locations, and rangers are hoping to start holding them at Lucky Peak more consistently. Now, the On Your Side forecast. The heat continues here in southern Idaho and it's going to get worse before it gets better. We have a ridge of high pressure that's going to continue to amplify over the west and that will bring more hot air into our region. Also, on a southerly flow of air, we're going to see more smoke moving into the region as well over the next several days and we're starting to tap into some moisture that could lead to thunderstorms, especially on Tuesday, possibly into Wednesday. Unfortunately, not the kind of thunderstorms that cool things down, rather the kind of thunderstorms that come with dry lightning and that can lead to more fire. So it's a situation we're watching very closely. Back to the heat, there is an excessive heat watch in effect for the Treasure Valley. This is for Monday afternoon and into Tuesday. We'll hit the triple digits likely on Monday. Tuesday morning, we'll see morning lows in the 70s in most locations. The lows will be in the 70s and then our afternoon highs hitting the triple digits again. So that excessive heat watch in effect for now, for Monday and Tuesday, we may be doing some updates over the next uh, 24 to 48 hours. I wouldn't be surprised if we see some red flag warnings popping up with the potential for dry lightning in the forecast. So your Monday, a hot one. Afternoon high of 101 degrees after a morning low of 66. Again, 71 for the morning low in Boise on Tuesday and up to 104 degrees in the afternoon. We hang on to the triple digits on Wednesday. Again, that possibility of thunderstorms most likely on Tuesday, but the possibility remains for Wednesday as well. Then we cool things down if you can call it that a bit as we approach the weekend 92 on Friday 90 degrees is the forecast high for Saturday but we start to heat right back up on Sunday with an afternoon high of 94 degrees for the latest weather forecast and up to the minute news headlines go to sixonyourside.com